Touch the like and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Shreem Palden. Uh, today's video, I would like to focus on the GoFundMe page account that I uh, actually started in, in the end of May and uh, have closed it by last week. Uh, first of all, to begin uh, with, uh, just in case if you have not, uh, you know, um, seen my previous video, the Tibetan Nurses Association in collaboration with Tibetan Association uh, of Northern California Health Promotion Committee has teamed up uh, and have come up with an idea to actually provide um, a month-long voluntarily, uh, you know, services to uh, Tibetan communities uh, back in India affected by uh, COVID-19. And uh, uh, to update, they left uh, the U.S. Uh, and Canada uh, uh, on the 18th of June and has already uh, started their mission. Um, I, on behalf of all of uh, other members, would like to uh, thank you sincerely from our heart uh, to all those volunteers who have uh, shown their dedication, selfless dedication, in fact, and um, wishing them a, a fruitful you know month-long service um, and uh, to just uh, give a brief idea about um, you know having started a separate uh, GoFundMe page account even though TNA had uh, already started its own you know official GoFundMe page um, the only reason I always started this separate page was because um, I was thinking maybe if my friends you know and my family members and people that I know, uh, you know, actually can contribute more uh, just because they know me uh, or, you know, they support the cause that I'm doing or the cause that I am actually supporting. Uh, that was my main initiative. And um, before uh, starting the GoFundMe page, I did bring up to uh, uh, the president of TNA and um, he was fine with me having, uh, you know, uh, starting another GoFundMe page. Um, so that is why I decided to uh, start it. Uh, however, however, even though my goal, uh, you know, was much higher, uh, I was only able to raise uh, five hundred dollars. And um, I, even though I wish there was more amount pouring in, uh, I also know that there have been various organizations all through this pandemic. Uh, you know asking for donations and I am pretty sure that most of you have donated to one or the other organization and I think that is totally fine you know uh, at times you want to really help them but you are limited by yourself you know you cannot go to the extent of donating to every hundred organizations that you know ask uh, for donations even when though you know how uh, critical the cause or uh, cause can be you know so as long as you have donated to one or other organization that you know has a mission to support other needy people i think uh, that is still okay so those of all who have not yet donated to any of the organization please uh, make sure that you donate it and you know uh, help uh, all those organizers who are uh, trying their best to create uh, an impact a positive impact to all those um, who are in dire need especially in this uh, pandemic period so I would like to sincerely thank Rhoda for donating hundred dollars for Ashling Ryan for donating another hundred dollars and uh, for Ajahn Nam Kang for donating twenty dollars uh, they are all from New York and then rest of them are my uh, friends from Canada, uh, Tenzin Chodan for donating $75, Tenzin Nito for donating $50, and Ngong Chimi for donating $50. So, uh, and then I have contributed $105 and uh, making it um, to the total of $500. I have uh, sent the receipt um, from, uh, you know, uh, that I received from TNA uh, to every individual. Um, and uh, uh thank i would like to take this opportunity to thank them sincerely for their generous uh you know donation and uh, just to uh give an update the account was uh held for about a week and uh, the reason uh, cited was you know they were not able to verify the connection between me and my donors i think it was because uh, since i have i have been personally donating you know putting the amounts uh, through my credit card 
uh, to the GoFundMe page uh, on behalf of my can friends in Canada. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously when you see uh, different amounts donated by the same person who is organizing the uh, fundraising uh, event, um, I'm pretty sure there might be some doubts, so I had to explain and send them emails, you know, and uh, give them reasons about why uh, that appears. And um, finally, after a week, uh, they were able to unhold my uh, account. Um, well, uh, that was the story behind, uh, as there's a saying, uh, every day is a learning experience. So, you know, starting this fund uh, raising event was my first uh, experience and um, having to go through that is also my first experience. And um, there's a lot of learning to be done on the way. And um, overall, I would like to thank again all my donors who supported me and all those others who wanted to support me but were not able to. I would not forget to thank Brexha Youngsum all from the uh, all from uh, Australia. She wanted to really donate it, but then uh, because of some wireless transaction issues, uh, she decided to directly donate uh, to one of the organizations in India, which is great. Um, again, as I said earlier, uh, as long as you you know don't miss out donating to any of the organizations that are. Uh, they had to help others um you know it is totally fine uh overall thank you again to all my donors uh, thank you everybody uh especially to all the volunteers tibetan nurses who has uh, flown all the way to india and um, to everybody my well wishers and uh, everybody out there stay safe i know uh, the covid cases has been decreasing but then you know don't be so lenient still stay safe and um i would if possible, try to avoid crowds, um, wash your hands and uh, put on your mask. Uh, you never know, uh, you know, uh, there is a talk about third wave uh, going to happen in India. And um, so everybody stay safe and then take care. Thank you once again. Tashi Dalek.